Welcome back to Farm and Culture. I want to do something a little bit different with you today. Up until this point, all of my videos have been about kombucha, which is for sure my first love. But I also get a bunch of little tips and tricks that people share with me just along the way and about fermentation, gardening, and just food in general. And so something I wanted to share with you is how to fix a bitter cucumber, which is actually one of the things that I use all the time. Bitter cucumbers are terrible, especially if you're growing them yourself in your garden and you let one go too long and you look under the leaf and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a big, huge one. No one's going to eat it. It's going to taste terrible. So this is the best way to fix it so that you never have to, you know, run into a bitter cucumber problem again. So this is a tip I actually learned from my mother who's Korean. And um, basically what you want to do, I don't know if this is a Korean tip or what, but she, she says all Korean people know this. So I'm going to share it with you guys. So when you have a cucumber, you just want to cut off the edge of it and uh, you just want to sort of turn it and twist it around and around and around. And what it does is it starts to pull out this like milky white creamy substance on the end. And that is the part that makes it bitter. It seems crazy, but I promise you it works. So if you take a look at that, you can see all the foam on the outside. You want to go ahead and just rinse that off and then go ahead and prepare your cucumber like you normally would and you will not taste any bitterness. So that's it for the quick little bitter cucumber tip. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Please feel free to uh, send me a message or leave me a comment and let me know if it works for you and how it worked out. Uh, you can always leave a comment on this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Also, there's farmandculture.com for the newsletter. And um, go ahead and sign up and I'll shoot you all my tips. And you can definitely send me any of your questions and comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks.